does this look like ultimately for Israel? Is it to just clean out Gaza? I mean, because long and of... hard, long and hard, house to house, street to street fighting. There are Israeli hostages, and I think American hostages held by Hamas. There will be human shields. There will be a temptation to stand down or go light. Uh, I pray for the hostages and their families, but we cannot negotiate with terrorists. They took these innocent people for the very purpose of trying to deter Israel from getting into Gaza and dismantling Hamas. I am hoping we can find a way <clears throat> to help the hostages, but at the end of the day, this needs to stop. And it will never stop until Israel goes in on the ground in Gaza and takes back the infrastructure created by Hamas to wage war against Israel. Well, what about a country like Qatar, which has also been involved with Iran? Uh, I have nothing but uh, disappointment regarding the statements coming out of Qatar. They're asking for a ceasefire. Initial blame was placed on Israel. The foreign minister of Qatar said Israel has no one to blame but themselves. That is the old Mideast. That is reprehensible statement. We have military members, thousands of them, in Qatar. They were helpful to us in Afghanistan. I'm hoping the Qataris will understand that those kind of statements make it very difficult to have a relationship with the United States. Now's the time of choosing to the Arab world. The Iranians are doing this. They're your mortal enemy. To the Arab world, stand up. Be counted. I would like a better life for the Palestinians, but you're not going to get it this way. I would like to help the Palestinians that could in fact live in peace with Israel. All of them are not like Hamas. But to the Arab world, speak out, reject terrorism, reject this barbaric attack on Israel. It is coming from Iran. How, how is this going to affect the Abraham Accords? Well, I am going to Israel and Saudi Arabia soon. The Abraham Accords were done by President Trump that led the way for the negotiations we have today. The Abraham Accords is a recognition by a handful of Arab states uh, of Israel. There's economic activity as a result of that. There was a conference this weekend that had to be canceled of the Abraham Accord countries, how they could better do business with Israel. What is Iran trying to do? Stop this. Why did they attack now? Why did they attack so brutally and so wide and so deep to derail an effort to normalize relationships between the Arab world and Israel, which is the Iranian nightmare. There's no doubt in my mind that's what they're trying to accomplish. So I hope to be getting on a plane soon, go to Saudi Arabia and Israel and tell the Iranians it is not going to work. I am more committed to normalizing relationships between the United States, Saudi Arabia, and Israel than ever.